Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Ali Shamo here. Welcome to electric mobility. The world is changing and moving towards electric mobility. So in this video, I'm going to review the iCyberBot Duo 500 watt motors electric scooter. <laughs> Today in this video, as you can see in the background, I am riding an iCyber bought electric scooter with dual 500 watt motors. That makes it a total 1000 watt power electric scooter. Now I'm going to give you all the information that you're looking for about this electric scooter. But before we proceed, I would like to point out why I am liking this scooter. It's because previously I have ridden scooters which have just crazy amount of power put in those small frames and that power that goes out of your control is gonna cost you a lot just like me right here I'm walking with four titanium screws in my left talus bone for the rest of my life because of that overpowered electric scooters my point is clear this right here with dual 500 watt motors gives you enough power for your daily commute or going to different places even some off-road little slopes it handles those with single motor just fine and if you are missing some of that torquey punchy performance you can turn on dual motors on this scooter and enjoy the punch that you're looking for and speeds up to 54 km an hour which i would say makes it a safer scooter to ride because it does not give you that power that you will abuse and hurt yourself and that is the first thing that I'm liking about this scooter enough said let me bring the camera closer and give you a quick overview of its features and then I'm gonna give you some demonstration of its single motor and dual motor power I like the design it's very simple it's not very big not very small it's somewhere in between and when it comes to the weight I like it again because it's maximum 34 kilograms heavy and very easy to pick it up for me should I need it and obviously it folds down so you can fold it and you know take it up the stairs easily other scooters with more power tend to get very very heavy and require two people to pick them up with this scooter if you are stuck somewhere in the traffic you can easily pick it up and put it on the pavement or footpath and start riding and go your way with those green parts added down there on the back on the front and from the front side yes I would say it's beautiful enough it looks actually very cool now we have this handle rod which is adjustable okay and handlebar nice and wide good grips provided a bit hard not soft so on the longer rides it might get uncomfortable but still they are good for grip handlebar is adjustable here for its angles from right here I believe you can adjust the height get it you know taller if you're a tall guy for me it's more than enough and then down here it has dual suspension as you can see there is one down there which I see right above the spring it's adjustable as well 
Then we have front disc brake, 8.5 inch rubber tires with 500 watt hub motor, both for on-road and off-road, and they have air inside, so you have to inflate them. Similarly, at the back side right here, another suspension you can see and a shock absorber, which is adjustable. And then we have reflectors here. Then we have LED brake lights, one here and one right here. Coming to the right side of the scooter, you have two buttons here. This one will turn on off your lights and this one will turn on off your single or dual motor. At the left side of the main body, you have this charging port. I have left the scooter charging for overnight and everything was nice and good. You have LED light for night rides to, you know, illuminate your way. One at the left side, one at the right side, right there, which you can turn on and off using that button that I mentioned. So you can see the lights are on. Let's see what's happening at the back. I see the red LEDs on. Press the brake. You can see how the brake lights blink. Then you have your foot pad where you stand. They have provided this anti-slip material. And this one I like it because you can put your rear foot either left or right according to your riding style on this and it's really nice and tough when you want to do some wheelies or jumps this is going to be very comfortable to use and useful as well on the front right here this is a very nice tough metal part and then you have right here is the folding mechanism so just unscrew it and it will all fold down let me just show you right away and there you go folds down easy to store easy to carry up the stairs even because it's not too heavy and when you want to go just put it up here tighten this screw right from here and it just locks it right here Unlike the other scooters, which have a very hard levers and locks to pull. I actually like this one. Simple and effective. And then we have the speedometer or odometer right here with only two buttons. On, off and mode, which changes the gear from one, two and three. Yes, it offers three gears. And in each gear, the speed will increase, obviously. And if you press and hold both buttons down, you will enter in the enter the menu system which I would suggest do not change any values unless you know what you are doing so far I haven't touched anything no settings touched everything is on stock setup and you have the bell to warn the other pedestrian or other riders wherever you are riding and obviously rear and front brake levers the build on this scooter is really neat and clean. Nothing is hanging out, no cables are hanging out except those brake cables going around. And also you can see how they have used these covers, which actually look very nice to cover all the cables. And then cables are coming out here for the brake levers and uh, brake light.
I think it's time to test the speed. And from 30 kilometers, from 25 to 32, that's what I had just now in the last try. At that speed, it stops really nice at a short distance. So I would say when you're riding electric scooters like these, which have good amount of power and good amount of speed, do not ride them too fast because once you get into wobbles at high speed, yes, Please note I cyberbot. At high speed, if a rider is standing, the scooter can get at wobbles. And once it starts doing that, you're gonna lose control, you're gonna fall very, very bad. The four screws in my left talus bone keep reminding me that. So, if you're riding at fast speed, I would suggest you, you know, kneel down a little bit. I'd suggest you bend your knees a little bit and hold the steering bar stay behind the steering bar and balance your body weight nicely on this scooter at high speeds and use the regenerative braking and use both of the brakes in combinations slowly to slow down once again i would say ride safely at normal safest speeds and keep the rubber side down Going down the slope, of course you need to use brakes, but what I want to test is going up the slope on a single motor. Up the slope, it's still picking up speed on a single motor. That means this scooter does have power and this is what I like about it you know now I'm off-road what I like about it it's not very heavy I can for a short guy for the power that I have this is very easy for me to pick up and you know go on footpath Make my way. I had this really short ride from my house to the stadium on the iCyberBot electric scooter, dual 500 watt motors. You know, on a single motor up the slope and slightly off road. It actually did very well. I haven't even touched the dual motors yet. Good speed, good speed, but hey, let's try the dual motors and see what's the difference in torque and the punch. Now, unlikely the other scooter, dual torque that I have reviewed before, you can always change uh you know dual motors or single motors you can always switch to that using the you know buttons right here but this one does not have those buttons except the you know odometer controls it has a button down here and when you press it it engages dual motors and here we go in third gear yeah <laughs> Now we are talking. Okay, gotta be careful. I'm noticing something here. Gotta be careful with that. 30. Second gear.
the round. You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.